Okay, so this is the very compact and very portable Samson Go mic. Now this is something that might be practical if you're, say, on the road, uh, going to conferences, doing podcasts from a remote location, maybe your hotel rooms, and you don't want to carry around something like this, which is my full-size Shure MV7 USB mic, and you just want to have something that's inexpensive, in this case about $25 to $35, and hopefully it sounds good. So let's take a look at this microphone, how well it performs. Let's go. Okay, so before we get to the sound test, let's just go over some of the specs for this microphone. It is a portable USB condenser microphone. So it's not a dynamic microphone, as you might expect. It works on both PC and Mac with inbox driver, so nothing to download. You can see it's pretty compact in terms of its design. Now, just to kind of show just how compact it is, once you fold it up, it's about the size of a credit card. It actually comes with this nice carrying case so that you don't damage it while it's kind of en route if you're traveling with it, for example. And it says it's great for recording both voice and music, so it's got some good uh, flexibility in terms of what it's designed to do. And you can also switch its pattern from cardioid to omnidirectional, meaning that if you've got maybe two people speaking to it from both sides, you can switch the pickup pattern of the microphone. Now, it is a 16-bit microphone with 44.1 kilohertz resolution, and it's designed to have a frequency response from 20 hertz to 18,000 hertz. And it also has a stereo headphone output jack for monitoring that you can see on the side of it here. And it includes a USB cable, but unfortunately, because the product has been around for some time, it's not a USB-C or even a micro USB, it's a mini USB, which I haven't really seen since I've owned GoPros in the past. And just a couple more things to note here. It also has a stand adapter for a 3 8 inch uh, 19 thread microphone style stand. It's on the bottom of it as you can see here. The dimensions are 2.8 inch by 1.7 inch by 0.9 inch deep. Now let's have a listen to how the microphone sounds. Okay, so now this is the audio from the Samson Go mic, just so you can get an idea and maybe compare it to what was the kind of the default sounds out of the Shure MV7 that I would normally record with. There are no settings set on the Samson microphone, just so you can hear what it sounds like by default. I'm going to move in a little bit closer to it to get an idea of proximity effect to see if it sounds any different when I'm closer. Now I'm going to step further and further away to see what it sounds like as I'm further away. Now I'm probably an arm's length, you know, more or less a meter or three feet away from the microphone. And then kind of back to normal position, which is maybe a foot, 10 inches away from the microphone's uh, condenser. So it's, it's pretty close to my mouth, but you know, it could be a little bit closer. And just to hear what it sounds like off axis, again, I'm in the cardioid pattern. I'm going to the side of the microphone just to see what that sounds like and to the other side of the microphone to see what that sounds like and that is again the default settings from the Samson Go microphone. Now let's try out a couple more settings because there's three different settings that this microphone supports. So, Okay, so this is the Samson Go mic with the omni-directional pickup pattern just to see what it sounds like. If it sounds any different, maybe it's more echoey. We'll find out in post. I'm going to go around the uh, outside to the side of it. It should actually be more or less similar sounding than before because the two condensers are kind of pointing opposite directions. The one that's facing you on the camera is the one that is, you know, that is uh, turned on effectively when I turned on the omnidirectional switch. So the side pickup in theory should be more or less the same as in the cardioid pattern. But if I had someone on the other side of me, then they would be able to be picked up. Now there's one more setting to try out, which is the uh, 10 dB minus pad, it looks like. So let's try that out. All right, so this is with the 10 dB pad uh, position on the switch for the microphone. Again, the 10 dB pad switch. And just for the completeness of testing, I'm actually in the omnidirectional pickup pattern. This way you can actually see the green light. It has a red indicator if the microphone's clipping or anything's uh, happening with it that shouldn't be happening. And you can now hear what it sounds like from the back of the microphone in the omnidirectional pattern. Now we'll try one more thing. 
this is the audio pickup from the back of the microphone in the cardioid pickup pattern, so it's only firing frontward toward you, so I should sound pretty muffled and terrible right now, but let me know in the comments. Maybe I sound okay. Who knows? All right, so I have to say I had pretty low expectations in terms of the microphone's quality, again, being something from the $25 to $35 range that is mega compact. I mean, it basically fits into something that's, you know, the size of kind of a credit card holder or something uh, smaller than your wallet uh, that you can put in your bag. But it sounds pretty darn good. I gotta say, with all the different reviews that I've seen for this microphone online, this is probably the best uh, travel microphone that I've tried. I actually had one of those tiny little um, blue snowball mini microphones in the past. I think the, uh, the size was actually a little bit bigger than this and it didn't sound nearly as good as the Samson Go mic. So would I recommend it? Yes, definitely for, for travel. I mean, some things you have to be aware of. Again, it's mini USB at the microphone, which is kind of unfortunate, so you do have to make sure that you bring that cable with you. Um, unless you have USB-A on your laptop, you're gonna wanna get a USB-A to USB-C adapter as well. But, you know, for the low, low cost of, you know, 25 to $35, if you are someone who is often on the road, you need a way to record something at quality, the only thing I can fault this on is the mounting's a little bit weird. I ended up kind of clipping it to a an inexpensive tripod here to get it close to where my mouth should be. And, you know, the plosives, as you could hear a little bit when I was going in for proximity effect, they weren't amazing, so you want to make sure from a microphone technique perspective that you're blowing kind of out of the direction of the microphone so that you don't have the, the P's and the T's uh, plosives going through it. But other than that, you can't really fault this microphone in any way. It's It's got a very smooth pickup pattern, sounds very natural. And honestly, it competes with what I have here with the Shure MV7. So again, recommend it. Great, great pickup if you need something for travel. So if you like this video, be sure to drop a like. It's free to do that. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tips like this for working remotely and you know trying out new gear, webcams, etc. You're going to want to subscribe to the channel and thanks as always for watching.